Hey everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's video, I am going to show you how to do this neon dance effect that you're seeing right now on your screen. How to do that and how to pull that off in Wondershare Filmora. If you saw that, how cool that was looking, but it's extremely simple to pull that off in Filmora by just following a couple of steps that I'm going to share with you. So without wasting any further ado, let's dive straight into the video. Now as the first step, I would recommend you to have a dancing video with a green screen on it. For example, right now I've got this video that I would be preferring to use. With green screen, it becomes extremely simple to pull that off. So hold that video, drop it onto the timeline like this. Once we have the video onto the timeline, just do the same step again, hold the video and drop another layer of that on top. So the same video on top of each other. Now the reason is that you will get to know very, very soon. Double click on the top video. A lot of options will appear up. We need to go to compositing, which is the second option. In the blending mode, change it to difference, the second last option. Once you click on difference, you will see a black screen right here. That's exactly what we need. Afterwards, the next step is go to the effects tab right here. And here in the search bar, just search for pixelated edges, or you can just type a couple of words for the for the word pixelated, P-I-X-E, and you will be able to see the two effects that are available in Filmora. Choose the second one, pixelated edges, hold it and then drop it on top of the first video. So we don't have to put a different layer, so just place it on the top of the video. Once you do so, you will be able to see that video like this. Now, right now, as you could see that greenish orange color is there. If you want, you can change that color according to your preferences. For that, double click on the video. In the video tab, just scroll down to the very bottom. And here you will be able to see the video effects. In that pixelated edges, you will be seeing a lot of different options like yellow, purple, green, white, black, all these. So choose any one and let's say for the first time I would be sticking to the same one which is given and after that export your video. Once you export it once, now the more number of times you do the better your video would look. But do not overdo the stuff. I would prefer doing it three or four times. Again double click on the first video, change the color to this time let's say purple like this and afterwards again export that video and then repeat it for the third time. Let's say this time I will change that color to for example let's say gray color like this or whatever color you want once you're happy with that export another video as i said you can keep on doing it as many times as you want i would just do it for maximum three times that's more than enough next step is just delete the top video that we put a lot of effects in so we just need the bottom video now and import all the videos that we have just exported now so right now i have all my three videos here after that drop all these three videos on top of our main video one by one like this and like I said if you have more effects if you have more number of videos just keep on dropping them down on top of each other next step would be to just push these videos slightly onto the right hand side to create that you know that that laggy kind of neon effect behind your main video so what I'll do is I'll just take my one video at a time and keep on dragging it onto the right hand side like this leaving slightly uh, just a tad bit of space just in front of them once you're done with that, take your main green video and then paste it on top of all the three videos or all the number of X, X number of videos that you have just exported. Then last step is double click on the green screen video and then click on chroma key. Once you do that, the green screen behind that will disappear. Just increase the offset a bit so that you can see that proper black color. Now when you try to play out the video, it will look something like this. So right now, as you could see, how great is this looking, especially since there was a green screen behind and now since that girl is dancing and there's a neon dance happening behind her. So it's just making it a bit more vibrant and just making it look a bit more funky. So this is how you pull off this neon dance effect in Wondershare Filmora. I hope you did like this video. If you did like this video, do hit that like button. Also, if you're new to this channel, do consider subscribing so that whenever the new videos are up, which is literally every single week, you guys would be getting notified about them straight away. With that, I'm done with this video. Hope you guys have a great day. Stay safe and I will see you guys in the next video.